In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your system software on your PS5 in safe mode. So what you wanna do is turn off your PS5, so we're gonna press and hold the power button until it turns off. You could also use your controller and navigate to turning off your PS5. And once it's fully turned off, you wanna have the USB cable that came with your PS5, as well as a PS5 controller, and you wanna plug it into your controller and plug it into your PS5. Now, once you get no signal detected or whatever have you, your PS5 is fully turned off. What we're going to do now is press and hold the power button and we want to wait for a beep. Now, it takes about five seconds approximately and we'll wait for it. Boom, there we go. I don't know if you heard it, but this is going to bring us to safe mode and we'll just give it a second. It's going to flash a little bit there. Then it's going to ask us to connect our controller with the USB. We already did that. So you want to press the PlayStation button. Boom. We are now in safe mode. Now to update your system software, we can go down here. This is the way to directly download it. And then you can use a USB drive if you want, or you can update using your internet. So this is a great way to fix a lot of issues with your PS5. You know, maybe it's, uh, it's having problems, hasn't been connected to the internet for a long time, you wanna update it. This is the way to do it, and it does fix a lot of issues. So go ahead and do that. Mine's fully up to date, so I don't think it's really gonna do anything. Uh, oh, maybe there is. Your PS5 will restart. There we go. Let's update it. Why not? So just let this process finish. Shouldn't take that long. I guess it depends on your internet speed. And once it's over, it'll restart and it'll bring you back to your PS5 home menu. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.